Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Jurassic World Legacy Collection, so technically Jurassic Park action figure reviews, but these are new ones. These are not the old 93 Kenners, though we will take a look at some 93 Kenner comparisons. Today we're going to be looking at Robert Muldoon, as played by Robert Peck in Jurassic Park. It's cool that they re-released these old school characters from the original movie, and we get new versions of them. In fact, I say slightly better versions of them than the original. So let's take a look at the outside of the package before we get into it. All right, and we've got our Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo blocked by the bubble there. There's a T-Rex off to the side, the gates in the background. Now these Legacy Collection figures do come with the compi, and there's three different poses they come in. Uh, here he is, Mr. Robert Muldoon with the shotgun that he uses. Very nice, I like when they get movie accurate accessories, very cool. Looks good, three and up, very nice. Yeah, looks pretty looks pretty straightforward, right? Back of the box. Robert Muldoon, there's his picture there. Now based on the picture, yeah, actually that's not terrible. That's not a bad likeness at all. Based on that picture. That's not bad at all. There he is with three compies on him, even though this only comes with one. There's just some blurbs. One dinosaur, one accessory. Zero to three sad babies. Approve of this toy made by Mattel. I love it. Let's get him open. Now, one thing to point out is Mattel did a really cool thing. There's this little slot down here where if you want to prop it open, I'll show you guys here in the video how to do it. If you guys pop it open from that little slot, you can kind of like start to pull up a little bit. There you go. You don't have to open the package all the way. You can just slide your figure out and your bubble's pretty much, pretty, it's not perfect, but pretty much intact just because they did that little thing at the bottom. It's a nice way to open the figure and not ruin everything. Take out the compi. Let's take out Muldoon and his little shotgun. <laughs> I like him. He's got his little short shorts on. Well, Muldoon short shorts. I'm like when I see his knee, his calf length socks. He looks good. He looks really good. <laughs> this is oh uh, Mattel. Mattel killed it. Mattel just knocked it out of the park. Okay, well I do want you guys to see a couple close-ups. So here he is. Now that I got the shotgun kind of in his hand. See his little funky socks, his weird little knees because of the articulation. But he looks right. He looks good. The hat's got that little curve to it. In fact, I think he looks way better than the 1993 version. He's actually much taller. But look at the look at the difference. Look at the di like. That's not what Muldoon looked like. He looks like a GI Joe. But that's the action figure we got from Muldoon. And he came with instead of like the shotgun, which is very movie accurate. He came with a freaking bazooka, like a tranquilizer bazooka, and he came with a little baby T-Rex, which looks a little funky. Either way, though, like, I think this, this Muldoon looks a bit more movie accurate than this one. Now, they did make a Series 2 version of him a couple years later, and he's kind of more in between. I think the face sculpt looks a little bit better, like, especially if we look at that picture. I think the face sculpt looks way better on the Series 2 Muldoon, but it's literally just the same figure in a different, like, color. Notice everything's the same, just different colors. Black instead of brown, green instead of tan color, black instead of yellow, you know, brown for black. Again, same thing, and then they popped on a different head. That head does not look like Muldoon. It looks like, I don't know what that looks like. He almost looks like, I don't know, he just looks like super like 90s hero. This looks more like Muldoon from the movie. This one, he looks a little weird in that sculpt. But I think like there's certain angles of him that do look good, like that right there. I think he looks like Muldoon a lot. It's just kind of funny, the different evolution of the Muldoon action figure. But to kind of pay homage to the original, when they came with like weird accessories and then a mini dinosaur, now they come with a little compi. So you can like kind of build your world if you have like a diorama set up like I do. Again, I just made this thing out of cardboard. It's literally cardboard, poster board, fake plants, some planter foam down at the bottom and just some weird scraps and stuff I picked up at the craft store. Now, I do like to put them in the diorama because I think they look really good with the background and everything. He looks awesome right in front of the Jeep. There's a little compi. There's another Raptor. But, of course, there's never just one. There's always a second one. Clever girl waiting for him. I love this. I think this looks so good. This setup here looks good. All of these Legacy Collection. Look, there's Grant. You can kind of put them both in the Jeep if you want. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. This is a really cool, fun setup. Mattel, you're killing it with this line. You're absolutely killing it. I feel like every toy in this line, Legacy Collection specifically, Legacy Collection, every piece that I've pulled from this has been great so far. 
I'm loving all of it. Big thumbs up for me, but I want to know what you guys think. It's the most important part. I need you guys to leave your feedback. A thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like it. Maybe you think the face looks a little off. If you don't like it, that's fine. Thumbs down the video, but tell me down in the comments below why. And if you thumbs it up, do me another favor. Tell me why. I want to know what you like about it. Think it's cool? Do you think it needs more accessories? Either way, good, bad. I want your feedback. Leave it down below. Be part of the Sad Baby Squad. That means if you haven't subscribed already, you hit that little bell notification, give it a nice little dinosaur swipe. That way you guys get notified every time I put out a brand new video. We do lots of Star Wars content. We do lots of Jurassic Park, Jurassic World content. A little bit of Disney stuff here and there or just random whatever I'm into. It's the Dano channel. It's whatever I'm into. That's it. Whatever I'm into. Right now, it's hardcore Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. There's still going to be more lightsabers coming too, so don't worry. Guys, you know I love you. If you want to be part of the Sad Baby Squad and want your stuff featured in the video, use hashtag Sad Baby Squad or at me on uh, Instagram, Twitter, at Dano Flores. That's it for now, guys. You know I love you. Till next time, thank you so much for watching. Seriously, thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. I love making these. I'm glad to have you here. But that's it for now. Till next time, hold on to your butts. And goodbye forever. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video series, do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button or I'll come bite ya. <laughs> you know I love you. Make sure to leave this video a thumbs up. If you like Star Wars, be sure to check out one of my other videos. But the best thing you can do to help me out is to share. Share my vids. Do that right now. Go do it. Now.